This is my setup to silver solder this crankshaft. I've got it sitting on my vermiculite block here. I've got some Easy Flow number two brazing rod, and I have some Easy Flow flux. Now the plan is to mix this flux with a little water in this little plastic cup over here, and get that applied to all of the joints around the crankshaft. Now I'm going to be using my camping gas blowtorch adapter to get it hot, then apply this rod, and we'll see how it goes. Handy apron here, and now mixing this up. And I think in retrospect, this was probably a little bit too wet, and there probably wasn't enough flux in there. I'm applying it now to all of the joints all over the crankshaft. Okay. So I think that's all fluxed up. At, at the time I thought I used too much, but I don't think I used enough flux. trying to evenly heat the crankshaft here and I can see the color changing which I think is a good sign and I'm just nervously dotting it with the brazing rod to see how far along we are. You know, it's my first time doing this uh, and obviously it's nowhere near hot enough. So as we start to get to this point, I'm seeing it start to glow red, which I think is about the right temperature, but the solder generally just isn't flowing at all, and I can't work it out because I feel like I applied enough flux and it's hot enough, but the solder is just blobbing onto the work. And as you can see here, I'm trying to melt the solder and it's that's been applied and blobbed, and it's just not going anywhere. I don't know if that's because the camping gas isn't hot enough or because there's some other problem. I to push on a little bit further and get it hotter and see if I can do anything to re-melt that solder that's just blobbed up. Nothing's happening. So I think that's probably a failure. Maybe not enough flux. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I um, obviously need to clean this up before I do anything else. So during the cleanup process I'll see if any silver solder has penetrated. It seemed like the flux dried off, went molten really quickly, and then back to being dry again. And it could have boiled off, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, the book says to go get the temperature of the piece to red hot, which I think I did. Um, yeah, maybe it's just a case now of uh, getting this all cleaned up with emery and seeing, seeing what happens to apply the silver solder and you see it's blobbed up and I'm fairly certain that indicates that the pipe piece wasn't hot enough. On the back of this side here you can see that actually it's penetrated almost all the way around. So clearly I was close but just not close enough. Um, I just don't, don't really know how to proceed on this one because obviously I wasn't getting it hot enough and the, the torch was just sitting on it the whole time. So I'm not entirely sure I can get it hot enough to then re-melt this silver solder. This is my flux mixture. I think that's probably closer to how it needs to be, maybe even a bit thicker. 
just applying a lot more flux this time. I know it's this way around because this side of the crankshaft is very sharply, slightly shorter than this side by design. Um, so now it's just a case of getting this heated back up again. I'm just going to go for broke and just get it as hot, as hot as I can reasonably stand, I think. Nothing. At this point I'm seeing the water and the flux boiling off. And for some reason it looks like the flux has turned to liquid about here. I had one section where it flowed really well, but other than that it just started blobbing straight away again. So I definitely saw it wick across a bunch of those joints. Um, as you can see on the front edge here, um, it melted the silver solder, but I just don't think there was uh, flux there that was going to do anything. I don't know if that's going to... That's too late to help, but... It probably is. At this point, I'm just hoping that this solder remelts in some meaningful way, and it doesn't at all. No, that didn't do anything. But uh, I'm pretty sure now I've got two solid joints on the crank webs on the crankshaft. Um, this one was already quite substantial. That one has has now got a, a bead of solder around it. So I'm going to let this cool again. Uh, I'm going to clean it up again, uh, and then I'm going to call it good. Uh, I definitely have a lot to learn about silver soldering. Um, and I don't know, obviously, it feels like this just isn't giving out enough heat. Maybe it is. I don't know. Need to learn a lot more. This is my setup for cutting the, the crank axle. I have the, uh, the crank webs secured in the vise with some packing to stop marking them. I have a piece of aluminium underneath, which hopefully should catch the saw blade as it breaks through. But I've also got the crank pin below, uh, below the level of the teeth. So in theory, I should just cut straight through and then not hit anything else. Okay, it's out. So, I now refer to my handy storage place for files underneath the bench. Look at that little bit. Now I need to file the inside faces of this uh, crank, these crank webs flat. So I'm using my bastard file now, and I have a second file that I'll follow this up with. So here's the finished crankshaft. Um, I'm going to polish it up a little more, I think, uh, but that's that's essentially it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy about the silver soldering, but it, it does seem solid enough. So I think it's probably good enough for now. And I think I've just got to practice on some other things. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the crankshaft. Job done.